What is up, Core Addicts? Welcome to another Crew 2 video. In this one, we're going to be customizing the 2008 Spiker C8 Aileron. Now, this car was released in the Crew 2 on March 6th for season pass holders, and then March 13th for uh, non-season pass holders. So, it's been a while, it's been almost a month, but I, I never reviewed it. I didn't actually know this car even came into the game, to be honest, until one of you guys told me. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it's a great-looking car. I always love the Spikers. I remember you, uh, using these cars in Test Drive Unlimited back in the day. And, um, I mean, yeah, it's just these cars are kind of crafted. They're, they're not so much as targeted towards performance and all that. It's mainly more for the styling aspect and to prove how well they can make a car and design a car. Um, it's kind of similar to Pagani, even though Pagani shoves twin-turbo V12s in their cars, but... <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's what I kind of parked it next to. Um, this is really the only famous Dutch car. There really is no other Dutch car. Spiker is Dutch. Uh, Spiker originally made uh, planes for World War I, uh, and then they started making cars in the early 2000s. So this one came out in 2008. The regular Spiker was a little different. This was more like an updated version, which I do prefer over the regular Spiker. I think it's very nice. Alrighty, so in this video we're going to be doing is showing the manufacturer colors the game offers, visual customization, then we're going to take it outside, do a stock top speed run, and then after that we're going to do a maxed out, put every single upgrade possible in it, and do a topped out a top speed run. Now this car is in the street class, so it's not in the hyper class. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we got here. So colors, the metallic red, black like a purplish color, blue, uh, it was the same red, white, white looks really good, gray, yellow, silver, that's nice, and an orange. I'm really going towards the silver, because it kind of reminds me of you know, like a plane, um, which is what the car is inspired by, especially when you see the interior. I think, let's, let's do the bright silver, I think that would be nice. Usually, I was going to go with the metallic red, which I think is gorgeous, but let's do something a little different. So let's go with the metallic silver here. Let's see what other silvers they offer here. I don't think they offer anything as nice. This is a little darker. Let's see here. I think we can do something a little more... This is nice. Yeah, let's do this one. It's like a really, really bright silver. I spent money on paint twice, but... And liveries are locked for this car, so I guess that was their agreement with uh, Ubisoft, that they cannot have liveries created for the car. The visual parts. Alright, so we do have some upgrades here. Hood. Okay, so it's more like a simple look. Okay. Carbon. That looks good. Okay. I think, I think the carbon stock is nice. Let's do the carbon stock. Looks good. Because that, that this other design here is kind of like what's in front of it there. Heat extractor. So, I mean, these are heat extractors too, but they have a different design. They're like a, like a double design. Okay. Front bumper. Also, just blacks that center portion. Oh, you blacked out the grill. Okay. And it paints the headlights to match the exterior. That's interesting. Okay, so an extra set of fog lights there. And it looks like the headlights are carbon. Can't really. There, though, this is the carbon one. Okay. Alright. Carbon front splitter. Was it always carbon? Oh, see, here it was like a metal. But these are carbon. Okay. That's just too much. Yeah, that's terrible. It's fun with the front grill kind of reminds me of the Aston Martins a little bit. Hmm. I think I'm feeling this one. With the blacked out grill but with carbon headlights, but I like the carbon headlights, but without the fog lights. Hmm. I guess we're going to have to stick with the stock headlights then. This doesn't look bad. Let's 
see here. Yeah, because I get that front splitter. You need that, that other one. That's strange how they don't have the blacked out one for that. Well, that really sucks. So you, you can't get the blacked out grill with the blacker carbon headlights. Unless you get the fog lights, which really sucks. So it kind of puts you in a... <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I think... Let's do... I think we can do this one. Yeah, let's just do this one. I like the little side vents there. I think it looks good. Okay. Wheels. Ooh, okay, there's different wheels. Oh, okay. Wow. That's not bad. Five different wheel options. Factory wheel options. That's that's pretty cool. Alright. Okay, let's see which ones we want to do here. I think let's do these in black. Could do the chrome. We can, we can kind of keep that metal um, theme going on here. Because these are more like a silver. This is more like a chrome, I guess you could say. But the black would look better. Let's just do, let's do the black. Mirrors, carbon mirrors, definitely. Side skirts, carbon, very nice. Rear fender. Whoa, what just happened? Okay, so I added some vents there and there. Took out the, uh, the side marker there. Made that top vent carbon and that one carbon. That's a nice upgrade. I like that. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Let's do that. Rear wing. That looks... That doesn't look very good. And that looks even worse. Again, these are my opinions. You know, you might have different opinions, but... Yeah. I personally would have done a, uh, a little carbon lip right on the, uh, the, the factory ducktail this car has built into the bodywork. So I would have done a little carbon lip going all the way around the little ducktail. But, um... Yeah, that, that kind of sucks. So I guess I'm not putting a wing on this. It is what it is. Okay, so this... What is... Okay, okay so this makes carbon around the tail lights with like holes that looks strange that just doesn't look right and then this one makes all this metal work back here carbon okay I see whoa okay so this makes quad exhaust pipes that's interesting and this is dual fork cans no I'm kidding <laughs> very large exhaust tips Oh jeez, okay. Too too much a race car for me. I think the quad just doesn't look right. I don't know. I don't think that looks uh Yeah, that's not uh Okay, let's do this one. With the carbon. Interior. Oh I didn't know the doors open up like that. Like a McLaren. That's cool. It's like uh it's like butterfly style. Alright, so now we're gonna get into the interior. You have like red uh, light saddle color, brown, uh, silver, well it's like gray and then this is silver, blue and then a yellow. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this like saddle color which I think is just gorgeous, it adds to the uh, classiness and luxuriousness of the interior. Um, that's just gorgeous. So here you can start toning down that color in stages. Uh, so you see you start going there, now it's only at the center of the seats. And the other one just made it like more stitching than uh, the whole car. Okay, that one and that one. I usually don't do the first option, but I think this car like looks really good with all of it. That color with the contrast black stitching, I think it looks good. So let's go ahead and do that. Interior materials. So this is okay. So this goes from from leather to mainly Alcantara. Which I don't really like too much. Let's keep the leather. And in Timmy Rinsor, you cannot change the background to like a carbon, which is good. I wouldn't want to ruin it. I think that looks really good. That machine finish is just gorgeous. That's where you can see the real strong point of this car is the interior. You know, it's airplane inspired. The gauges, the switches, everything. Just gorgeous. Very, very nice. Alright. Uh, now let's see how it all looks together. That's all the options. Let's see. Not bad at all. That looks really good. I like how the carbon kind of goes with the black wheels. and That doesn't look too bad. Let's see how it looks in white. That looks too plain. Yeah, silver. That metallic silver looks good. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, drive it and see how it does. Alright, see how it sounds. Lots of crackles and pops. It's a good thing. I like that. Now, this car does have an Audi V8 in real life. You can't really expect too much from that. The interior though is just gorgeous. I mean, it is literally breathtaking. Very nice. That's the strong point of this car. Alright, let's see how it drives. The steering is quite vague, has a little bit of a delay, it's not that good. Speed, obviously, not very fast at all. That was floored there. Brakes are decent. But yeah, it is. It's, it's definitely not meant to be an old race car or anything like that. You know, cars nowadays are designed to be the fastest on the Nürburgring as possible and track ready and cup two Michelin tires and, you know, crazy track oriented and marketed as track cars. This car was just made to be classy, great looking, and as nice as possible. Okay, so there's going to be 100% stock top speed run. We're going to use a nitrous at the very end, as we do in all my videos, because, you know, nitrous comes stock on all cars in the crew, too, for some reason, but we use that to our advantage to get to that top speed a little higher. Okay, here we go. Cap there at 187 doesn't want to go past that. 187 stock, it's not too bad. I personally thought I was gonna do 200, but um, I guess not. I guess 187 where it maxes out at, which isn't bad, it's quite decent for only 400 horsepower. That's pretty respectable. Now, let's see how it does fully maxed out. All right, just so you can see how it is fully maxed out. So the 280 at 280 perf level, top speed up to 225, horsepower over 700 or 716, that's pretty respectable there. 0 to 60 up to 2.6, that's very good. Well, down to 2.6, I should say. Quarter mile of 9 seconds, not bad. Alright. See how it does. Again, nitrous at the very end. This may vary for you depending on upgrade perks, but you get a general idea of how it will do maxed out. Alright. Not bad, 232. It backed down up to 31, so that's definitely where we maxed out at. That's not bad at all, it's pretty respectable uh, for a street car. Uh, most of the street cars in this segment, they kind of max out at 230 when you fully max them out. So this isn't that surprising. After I've tested so many cars, I kind of like know what to expect now, but the handling is definitely completely changed. Uh, definitely a lot better. I still understeer a lot, that's why I hit that car there. You see it kind of pulls that way but um it's it decent it's not the best <laughs> i'd say it's average um the speed's definitely a lot better that's for sure but you're never gonna compete with a huracan or even the cayman gt4 i reviewed um you're just not gonna compete with that in this car that's, that's not what this car is made for it's made more for styling kind of like a grand touring car i guess you could say well you guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and as promised, you're on the wheel options for the Spiker C8.